Scott, uh, an important bill um, was passed recently, um, which is focused on conversion therapy practices in Canada. And I'm hoping that you can kind of give us a breakdown of, of what this bill was um, and what it means moving forward. Yeah, I'm happy to speak to it. I, uh, you know, the, the Liberal government uh, actually uh, wanted to pass this bill to, uh, to ban the practice of conversion therapy uh, and, and specifically for minors. Uh, and so it bans the practice of advertising or charging a fee uh, for such a, for such a, you know, what's, you know, what's, what's called not really therapy, but conversion therapy uh, for minors. So, I, I, you know, that I, it's one of those things that, uh, of course, during the election campaign, you know, the prime minister said it, you know, was a provincial issue. And of course, in many provinces already, it is banned. But I think it's an important message and it's an important statement that uh, the government of Canada and the representatives in the parliament uh, make as well. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's been passed. I'm, I'm glad it's been done. And I'm glad that we've, you know, sent that message to, uh, you know, to all Canadians. What does this mean? I mean, I think, first of all, I just want to outline that this is happening during Pride Month, which is really great timing for this because, it is, um, you know, it's a pretty heinous practice um, for that community. But what does this mean moving forward for Canada's recognition of the of the LGBTQ community and 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 building more inclusiveness overall? Well, I I, I think it's just uh, you know one more uh, moves in a series of moves that I think uh, you know we've we've been making as a society for years now. The, uh, to, to demonstrate acceptance that we are who we are and love is love and and who you are is not to be shamed or to be uh, you know embarrassed about that you know we're all God's creatures and we're all loved and that's what matters the most. So on a on more local tone here Scott and talking about inclusion and and trying to move forward um, with acceptance, we recently had a situation where uh, a pride flag was was taken down from a school and burned. Um, and uh, we've heard a lot of varying opinions on 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 this situation. Um, and I wanted to hear from you as the, as the federal representative, you know, what your thoughts are on this matter um, happening within your writing. Well, I, I like everyone else, I was shocked and and thoroughly disappointed that such a thing would occur in our community. Um, you know, I, I had the, the, the honor of raising the pride flag at the town hall in Huntsville. I was mayor for a number of years and uh, participating in pride, pride picnics. So, I, you know, that, you know, it's really disappointing. I, I, I'm, I'm pleased that the police are investigating thoroughly, though, and, and, we'll, and we'll deal with it. Um, you know, it's... Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to hope that the situation is one of, uh, you know, willful ignorance of these young people. But uh, you know, we obviously it's important to wait for the police to come to the conclusions, uh, and whatever charges they press, and uh, and for the legal system to do its work. But uh, you know, it, it's 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 pretty sad, and so I'm 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 glad that the police are investigating. When I spoke to your successor, Karen Triziano, about it, she said that you know. While we'd like to believe that this is an inclusive community, it's it's we're not there yet. Um, what do you think about that type of statement? Well, I think she's right. I mean, as, you know, I think that uh, we like to think of our community, Huntsville, our, our, all the communities of Paris, Salem, Muskoka, and certainly Canada as an inclusive country. Uh, and I think uh, in many ways, uh, and for many it is, but there's uh, I there's certainly still people that you know harbor resentment and. Uh, judgments and anger and fear and you know I, I just think that the more we talk about these issues and and the more we celebrate inclusion the more we do things like adopting bans on heinous fake therapies like conversion therapies uh, the the more Canadians hearts and minds will be changed and for the better 